clutch closers. Let's talk about having some fun closing the deal. Ultimately, this should be a fun business for you. Taking a no, turning it into a yes, that should excite you in the process of doing it morally and ethically and above board, getting from A to B should be something that excites you. And you should have some fun closes that you use to do that. Some things that you just kind of sprinkle in because there's some serious closes that we go over and some serious processes that we need to understand and some things that take a lot of practice to get right and some things that are very simple to do like a one to ten clothes that we went over that's simple it's easy you've always got it in your back pocket when you're tired at the end of the day you know you can pull that strong clothes out and you're going to have it memorized but there also ought to be some fun closes that we talk about. Let's talk about a couple of my favorites right now. I can remember a great friend of mine. He was one of the strongest closers I ever seen, and he invented this close. His name was Gary, and we were sitting there one day talking about the fact that it had been a while since anybody had came up with any new closes. And could we think of some new closes that day that we could use and set up a bet on, and who's going to pay for dinner tonight, and who closes the most deals with their new clothes? I'm not going to talk about what my clothes was because I ended up having to buy dinner that night. So we're going to talk about what Gary's clothes was in the end. And to me, man, it is a fun clothes I've used over the years. It makes absolutely zero sense to me why and how it works, but the thing does. So Gary would use this clothes in some kind of objection when it had to do with money. It was usually an objection to the price, the payment, or the trade-in, and somewhere in that area would come up, and he would look at the customer and he'd say, let me ask you something, John, when you go over to the gas station and you buy a Coca-Cola and, and it's 50 cents, and you hand them a dollar, what do you get back? And the customer said, well, I get back 50 cents. And the 50 cents is what, John? What do we call that 50 cents they're handing you back? And the customer would say, change, man. He said, man, that's exactly what I'm telling you, John. Oh, give me a high five. You're getting change back. I have no idea. I don't know why it works, but it does. And you know, I think in the seriousness of that close, it gets every customer I've seen them give, they're sitting over there watching it, and I'd say, there's no way the guy's going to high five them. It's just not going to happen. This is the dumbest close I've ever seen in my life. There's no way he's high fiving them. And ultimately, you see the customer sitting there looking, and the next thing you know, it's bam, and they up. Bam! They're high-fiving him like they, they're so excited about getting change back. And next thing you know, he's sliding the paper in front of them and saying, John, I'm going to go ahead and start getting your vehicle ready for delivery. It's going to be ready in about a half hour. We'll get you through finance then. That sounds good to you. That sounds great. He's signing up. And I think the strength of that close comes from, one, it, it takes a little bit of involvement, right? It takes a little bit of setup. You've got to build a little bit of rapport with the customer to get that excited. And when he slammed that desk, it just kind of changed everything. Everything just changes in an instant. It becomes from this boring setup, this back and forth between me and you that's going on. And all of a sudden, he reached down and he slammed that desk and everybody woke up. That was when earshot of them. The customer's eyes perked up. They went back in their desk and he said, man, that's what I'm telling you. You're getting changed back. And raised his hand and held it out. And he's never been left hanging. And I'll tell you, anytime I've ever done that close, I have not been left hanging one time. But it shocks the whole system and it pulls everybody up. And it really has nothing to do with the deal. It has nothing to do with it. But the close works and the close is fun to do. And it's exciting to see and it's exciting to be involved in. And it might not be right for everybody in every single deal that you do, but you'll find a place to use it. You'll have fun doing it. And then you're going to use it a bit more. And it's going to be a little clutch for you. All right, the number two fun close I enjoy doing. So it's going to take just a little bit of setup. It's going to take Hold on one second. That's going to take a little. It takes two chairs. Still getting the second one. Second close. It's mono e mono. Me and the customer are sitting straight across from each other. The customer looks at me and he gives me some objection. Maybe he tells me I'm not giving him enough for his trade, or he tells me the price is too high, or he tells me the payments are not where he wants to be, but it's a more direct close that he gives. And I'm excited in this deal, and we're moving, and I want to get this customer to re-engage with me. And when John sits across from me and he says, you're not giving me enough for my trade, I say, man, I need you to do something for me, John. Can you please, can you stand up for me for a second? I need to do something. Can you, I need, can you stand? Thank you. 
I gotta get a new, I gotta get a new chair. Here, John, have a seat. It's gotta be. It's not. It's. It's, it can't be the tray, but the last four people that have sat in that chair over there have told me exactly the same thing, that I wasn't giving them enough for the tray. So it's got to be the chair. Have a seat, John. Let's relook at these numbers. You can see where that would be a fun clothes to use. It gets you up out of your chair. It gets you engaged with your customer. It's kind of like that clothes with the with the high five and the getting the change back, right? It engages the customer, it gets them moving, it kind of shocks the system a little bit that we disengage from the deal process here. We disengage a little bit from the objection that was first given to us. The customer stands up, moves away, they see you moving stuff around, you're laughing, having, and the guy's thinking, man, this guy's crazy. What is he doing? And then you set the chair down in front of him and say, have a seat, man. This, uh, the last four people that sat in that chair said exactly the same thing. It's got to be the chair, right? Can't you see that's a fun clothes, man? It's a fun clothes. I always enjoy both of those clothes. They don't necessarily, any one of them make any sense. Neither one of them really has a whole lot to do with the car deal, but they're both fun. They're both fun to use. It's two simple clothes, two fun clothes that re-engage you to the car deal. They re-engage your customer. They shock kind of the system. They change everything around and put it up in a blender and then bring it all back together where ultimately you're sliding that paper across. You're pulling the pen out and you're looking for ink on paper. Those are two fun closes that are going to make you more clutch in the clothes. Fun closes are what clutch closers use. So maybe you've got some fun closes out there that you're using. I want to hear about them. Put them in the comments so we can talk about them. We might feature them later in some other videos that come up. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell button so you get a like and give it a thumbs up clutch closers. Come on, thumbs up. Shh.